Hi, welcome back. Today we will also be talking about HTTP enumeration. And over time we've talked about a lot of ways to enumerate different ports or different hosts in a network, which it is actually in our planning. You can check through. Without further ado, we will continue in a CTP enumeration. You know, before you enumerate, you have to understand what you are enumerating for or what exactly is this collector system of what you want to enumerate. For example, we have HTTP, which is the Abattest Transfer Protocol. What it actually does is it's used for file sharing over the internet, over the World Wide Web. In most cases, you see HTTP, then the domain name, a whole lot of um, scenario all around HTTP, from the A record to uh, DNS, mapping the host name to the IP address, to a whole lot of things. So then you have the HTTP, you know, the HTTP is on port 80. We have HTTPS, which is on port 43, which is the secure port for HTTP. You know, it comes with SSL certificates, comes with security, more secure over the internet, it comes with encryption, like that. That is why HTTPS more better and it useful over HTTP. So, so that, that's the overview of HTTP. So let's move to the practical demonstration of enumerating HTTP. So we have our target machine here, and this is our target IP. What we'll do is we'll never forget the use of MR. Thank God for MR. I guess it would not be easy doing this. So let's get started using MR. Oh, let's try and ping this IP to know if our host is actually up. So it's returning an echo reply showing that it is all. So let's do an MMAP scan to, to see if this port is actually open and what service is running on this particular port. So basically we can find out. Now we have Microsoft Windows, Microsoft, SP that we're using. We have Microsoft IS IIS version running on this server. It is a Microsoft server. And what I would like you to understand here is this the Windows IIS, special and internet services for Windows is so flexible and manageable for uh, server hosting anything on the web. We want to host anything on the on the web, like your websites, your web page, um, your web applications. You can use the Windows IIS for this in uh, for this task or for this processing. So it's more useful and many companies actually focus on using, depending on your organization, some focus on using this Windows, this Microsoft uh, IIS, and it is running a Microsoft, is running a Windows. So having been set, let's focus on, um,
So basically, let's see using um what's web. Let's see what service is this particular HTTP port 80 is running with. There are so many things that will be running on it. You know, this information are very key for exploitation. That's why we do enumeration for exploitation. Irrespective, all these processes from footprinting, from recognizance are uh, interwoven when it comes to penetration testing. So what does this actually mean? This what web we can just go to our our Kali and see the fact that we can actually do man command to have a information of what a particular command works for or what when function is. So what web is actually the web scanner that is technology used by website. So what we want to do is we want to identify the technologies that are being used on this on that server. So it's a good answer question. What is the website? Recognize technology. Yeah, we'll like that. So that, that's what it does basically. So let's go back to our target machine. This is our lab and back to our target machine on this command. And we will see how it's going to generate information of this server for us, you know. ASP dot cookies, the Microsoft, you know, the HTTP server is using the Microsoft 10.0, HTTP only, ASP.net, the IP address, the, you know, this is like printing the header of this particular web server. You know, it is, even tells us about the redirection powered by ASP.net, yes. Protection zero, no SSL protection, precise kitchen protection on this web server. So, you know, you see a lot of information that are readily gotten just using what web, like what web, just as simple as that. So, you see, information is so crucial to us, and we'll keep that and we'll keep moving. So what next are we really going to do? We want to know the directories. You know, you can't just start to cram all the directories in your head, or maybe you just start to move on by want to know directories. But you can just do web, the web HTTP as an HTTP root cause server. You can if it's an HTTPS, you can do a HTTPS. So with the IP 10.3. 25.205. So we, what we do is start to print directories that are related on this web server, generate directory from our host, different directories. Some directories will return a error 4, for some directories will return error 4, 3. You know, these error notifications are very, very important when you yeah, actually dealing with um, or working as a penetration tester. Every, you can try to enumerate a particular page or enumerate a particular website and it, uh, it returns an error. It can return different kind of error. Let's see. This error will really, really give an insight of what exactly do you, you want to work with. You know, sometimes if we return a faulty error, which is a forbidden error, that doesn't mean you cannot um, access. What if the firewall is not really well configured? You can just try your your lock and bypass it, you know. There are different ways you can bypass firewalls if it's not well configured. That same way you... I do a lot of things. So those error, you know, if you do for for you know it is not practically might not be there or might not be found there or the page is empty, you know. So all those things are very important. But if it's returning a five hundred plus error, five four three or five four whatever is basically that is basically 
Isawa L. So download one of the direct we were able to print with this information. Yeah. So uh, different directories giving us information so of what we we actually want to work with. No, it keeps dealing with us. I don't know why this is not loading. Probably network error. Oh, sorry. I think I was wrong, maybe. Mistake. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Probably the access denied. You know, can generate different, different kind of error. And the crazy thing is as a penetration tester, you don't give up. Find it for the error, what should you do? Maybe try and bypass it. Maybe you need some sort of SQL injection to be able to dump this table or do a lot of methods, try different methods, could work, you know. Resources, images, can try that. If, you know, directories, different directories. That um, this particular deb uh, will do for us command. They're still returning the same error. So this shows that this could actually be present no it keeps trying different uh, keeps trying different directories on that same server so that you know a lot of directories well you can't just tumble on one that will not return any error and here you go yes so it's done you know, a whole lot, a whole lot of list, a whole lot of list. So basically, we're done with that. You know, there is also a, a command you can use when you don't have a browser to to display an HTTP uh, page or some anything related to HTTP. You can do browse and then the link. It will basically is going to pop up whatsoever. We have a browser already. So it's gonna pop. Um, if you don't have a browser, you can do use this command. And it's gonna pop up that HTTP request as if it was a browser, and as it works as enumeration suite, you enjoy enumerating. You know, you know the joy when you have when you're able to when you keep getting information of your target. The joy you have when you what you know. It's been put into practice and you are getting results in it. That's what pen testing, that is the joy pen testing can, can give whoever is interested in doing it. So moving forward, we want to enumerate using one of the Nmap scripts to enumerate this our host to the HTTP. So we use this script to enumerate with the service scan and with the host IP. So we will perform enumeration with this script. Let's see the results you are going to generate. Yeah, we can find Content which are interesting. We have parts that actually found on this post. You have the content download and web dev part. So that one being done, we can also there's a way you can also print the header of this our host, this our web server. You can print the header using this MMAP script. You can also print the header. 
you know, using HTTP. So the way we printed the header gave us information about caches, private content type, test HTML, you know, location, devot.esps. In server, we have Microsoft, the IIS, the Microsoft server, ESPN cookie, you know, you get a whole lot of information just by enumerating without particular um particular and map script. You know, you print there's so lot, there's so many scripts, too many scripts on Nmap. If you share through the doc documentation from nmap.org. So again, last thing we'll be doing is this particular this um that particular directory that is being found, we could check a whole lot of allowed methods that is on that directory. So option trace get head post copy to phone lock unlock you know the server date you know just on that particular directory and that is how it works you know when you're enumerating you're trying to get information you're trying to know the vulnerabilities to know the weak point of your target you want to practically know what all this thing does how is this thing vulnerable? If you see a Windows server running on a particular low a, a, low, a lower version, you could say this particular version is, is vulnerable to a particular vulnerability or vulnerable to a particular um, CVE. You know, that is why mitigation Patch, um, update, updating a patch procedure. These things are very key when it comes to securing a server, securing your host, maybe a website or also a web application. All these things are very, very important. Patch management, mitigation of risk. In, you know, you have to table your risk to, you have to table your risk and know which one does the more or higher risk. So you know how to mitigate them, bring them to a lower scale, because the truth is that for everything that has a login and password, it's probably vulnerable to attack. Or how risky are these vulnerabilities? How risky can these vulnerabilities be? to the organization to whatever this this host is hosting for us the document is a file or is a database for customer credentials those are very very important key things we need to note so thank you we've come to the end of our HTTP enumeration. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.